Hi, in this video I'll show you how to adjust picture controls for accurate image on Hisense 2023 TVs. The TV that I've used to analyze colors and picture processing is 55-inch E7 KQ Pro. For color and grayscale analysis, I've used Portrait Display's Kelman 2023 software. Let's start. Tip number one is to ensure that your TV is running in home mode. To do that, let's first see how to access settings menu. You can press home button on the remote, press arrow left, and then select settings from the side menu. Another option is when you're watching the content, just to press menu button on the remote, and now you can scroll down to settings or you can just press arrow up and here you are on the settings option. Now that we're in settings menu, let's go to system and here let's scroll all the way until we see advanced settings, press OK, scroll all the way down until you see usage mode. Make sure it is set to home mode. Now that your TV is in home mode, next step is to choose one of the most accurate picture presets. Based on my measurements and picture processing tests that I've done, the best picture modes are as follows. For SDR, Cinema Day, Cinema Night or Filmmaker. For HDR10 or HLG, it's HDR Day, HDR Night or Filmmaker. For HDR10 Plus is HDR10 Plus Cinema. And for Dolby Vision, you can either choose Dolby Vision Dark or Dolby Vision IQ if you want to use built-in ambient light sensor. For gaming, within each picture mode, which I'll show right now, if you go to settings, picture, for example, I'm right now in Cinema Night, here you have game mode option and game mode can automatically be activated by using auto option or you can manually turn it on or off like this. And when game mode is active, some of picture controls will be disabled. Next tip is for you to adjust brightness of the picture. Usually those accurate picture modes are not as bright as the default one or dynamic or sports option. So you need to modify it yourself. So now I'm in picture menu. If I scroll down to picture mode settings, you will see backlight option. Press OK. And now you will see this menu in the bottom. But if you press menu button, you can also move this menu to the top, so it's up to you to adjust it. Now within this menu you have several options. First one we see is dynamic backlight control, which you want to keep turned off. Next is backlight, and you are free to adjust this slider. So if you want brighter image, increase it. If you want a dimmer image, just decrease it to the level you find OK for your environment. There is also ambient light sensor implemented in this model. If I go down, you see automatic light sensor and with selecting on, you can engage it. You also can tweak how much it will dim the image by using light sensor shift. But if you want stable result and you want full control over backlight, then turn off this control. For SDR, it's important for you to recheck brightness, which is black level and contrast, which is white level. On my unit, these controls were adjusted correctly, so I didn't need to touch them, but it's good for you to double check using free test patterns that are available online or by using specific test disks. Check description for more info. There are also some additional options like adaptive contrast, but I recommend to keep such controls turned off. And within expert settings menu, you also have gamma adjustment. 
By default for this picture mode it is set to BT.1886 but if you want brighter image you can select control value 2.2 or 2.1 or something lower. It goes all the way to 1.8. And if you want darker image select for example 2.6. In case you are having trouble seeing details in shadows, there is dark detail control, which will make those areas brighter. Next tip is for you to check white balance parameters and color gamut coverage. You do that by going to picture mode settings then scroll all the way to expert settings and here you have color gamut option you have different uh, settings available but i recommend to keep it at auto so then tv will automatically adjust its color gamut to the input signal if you have calibration equipment you can use color tuner here you can adjust values for primary and secondary colors and also tweak flesh tones specifically. As for white balance, you have controls to adjust it here, two points and 20 points. But if you don't have calibration equipment, just go one step up to picture mode settings and ensure that color temperature is set to warm one. This will give you the most accurate color temperature value out of the box without any further adjustments. Next tip is related to adjustment of sharpness and reduction of noise and compression artifacts in picture. For that you need to go to picture mode settings and here you will have sharpness control. For high resolution content you don't need to increase this value from zero. But if you have some older footage and you want TV to use its upscaling technology to artificially sharpen it then adjust this control to the level you find OK. As for noise reduction, you have noise reduction control here with different intensities. It's effective, but of course consider that if you increase it too much, you will lose some details. So uh, be careful how you use this control. Next we have MPEG noise reduction. So for reduction of compression artifacts, it's not very effective, but for highly compressed sources, it might be useful. And then if you see issues with gradations, if you see posterization in the image, then use gradient option. It's very effective, but again, very high values, medium and high can lead to some other issues. So be careful how you adjust it to get optimal image. Finally, coming to motion resolution, this TV has blur reduction and JUD reduction options so you can improve motion resolution and get soap opera effect if you want for movie content. But for getting the best motion resolution, and this works only for HDMI inputs for some reason, you need to do the following. Go to picture mode settings, here go to ultra smooth motion, set it to custom, Jada reduction put to 0 to avoid soap opera effect, blur reduction set to 10, and then go to expert settings and enable high refresh rate mode. Only then you will see improved motion resolution on this TV. So unfortunately this high refresh rate mode is not available for other inputs. For example, if I go to YouTube and go to settings, so this is SDR signal. So you see ultra smooth motion is available, but going to expert settings, there is no this additional control to improve motion resolution. And guys, with this, I would like to finish this video. These were my tips on how to get optimal image without doing the actual calibration for Hisense 2023 20, TVs. 
In terms of calibration, although many picture options are available, I wasn't very happy with uh, gamma accuracy by default and also available picture controls. They, they either weren't working properly or they had two big jumps from one level to the other, so I was not able to fine tune, for example, white balance. Once again, thanks for watching. Let me know what are your thoughts on Hisense 2023 TVs, which picture mode are you using, and do you have some tip to share with the rest of the audience. Till next video, goodbye.